hello my dear students now today i am going to start formulas and functions in this lesson in this topic formulas and functions we will discuss how we can write this uh, uh, formula and the function in our computer system what is the use of function what is the use of formula we, this we will discuss in this lesson now formulas are the predefined calculations involving addition subtraction division and multiplication for example in ms excel when you will open in the right hand side you can see that auto sum option is there when you will click on the small downside arrow small downside arrow then many other functions will be opened you can find the maximum value you can count the numbers you can find the minimum values you can find the average and then you can find the sum also round exponent square root power and mod all these things we can find with the help of this formula and the functions now functions are the predefined terms which is written in our computer system and formulas are the terms which we are giving to the computers for example first term is formula i hope this is clear to you all with this explanation now next is our function functions are the terms which we will give and which we can write in our computers to form to perform any kind of calculations this is the function it is given for example few terms it is given in your book references now the cell or the range of the cell that you want to use in your calculation that is called references for example one formula i am writing with the help of this formula you can understand in this function you can see every function in a computer system will start with equal to symbol now sum sum is a function this is a predefined word and computer can understand this is a function a1 is a starting point this colon represents the range and a10 means the final value a1 colon a10 means your value will start from a1 and it will go up to a10 this is called the range and the cells which we are using that is called the reference the operators operators means there are certain operators are like plus minus multiply exponent etc this kind of symbols which we are using this is called operators now constants what is constants constants are the terms which will not change in our computer for example number or text value that do not change that is called constant functions are the predefined formulas the sum maximum mod min average all these are functions because these are predefined if you will write sum like then computer will easily understand that what to do means computer will add the numbers 
now creating a basic formula what you will do in this and in the, this is given on the page number 25 you will all open this page the basic formula involves only one operator in the formula for example if I am writing like this this is the basic formula and let us calculate this number by typing the cell values with the operator for example we can increase the numbers also like we can keep on writing like this and it will be added this is the basic type of formula in which we can generate our formulas with the help of this uh, operator means with the help of this plus operator and in this we will not write any function this is called formula we are not writing any function but it can perform our work this is called formula now using compound formulas What do you mean by compound formula? Compound formulas are used when you need more than one operator. When we are using more than one operator then it is called compound formula. More than one operator is used this is called compound formula and every time the formula will start with equal to symbol equal to b5 into b6 into b7 slash one so in this you can see equal to b5 into b6 into b7 divided by 1 we have used many operators in this formula so this is called compound formula now using text formulas text formulas we can perform addition on characters and string data types we will not perform any mathematical calculations but we can join them means we can write them together except an addition other calculations like subtraction multiplication division etc are not allowed these type of calculations are not allowed means we can join them only we can use the symbol and for addition this is a concatenation operator and we can use this to combine the values only now you have to write like in If it is written in MS in our MS Excel sheet if it is written in A1 and in B2 and we want to join them in C then what we will do we will write this is the row number one it is so we will write equal to A1 and we will write equal to a1 and b1 so what will be the value after writing this you have to press enter button and as you will press enter button whatever is written in a1 and b1 that will be joined together
with the help of this formula this is called text formula and this is called text operator whatever we have written in a1 and whatever we have written in b1 that will be joined together and it will be displayed in the desired cell where we have written the formula now using range formula range formula now in this range formula we will use the colon symbol only this is the difference now how we will write is equal to sum v1 colon v20 we have written equal to sum v1 colon v20 now what is the meaning of this sum is the function and this b1 is the starting range and colon will define the range means from b1 to b20 the value will be calculated from b1 to b20 this is called range formula i hope you understand this now next is type of cell reference cell reference er, uh, is basically of three types first is relative absolute and mixed these are the three different types of references in relative now we are going to discuss the first one in relatives there will be change in the cells means as we will drag the mouse there will be change in the cells in relative reference i am going to make one small table so that you can understand easily this is a small ms excel you can see this is the column number this is the row header a b and c and these are the values now for adding these numbers what we will do if we will write this function here to add then the value in a1 and b1 will be added and what we will get as you will press enter button you will get the answer so what formula we have written here i have written this formula in this cell now as i will
click here and as I will drag the mouse I will get the sum of all the numbers I will get the sum of all the values for example 3 and 2 5 1 and 9 10 8 here like this I will get the value by simply dragging the mouse as I will drag the mouse I will get the answer so what is going on here the formula is a1 b1 sum Like this the values are changing and due to this change this is called relative reference due to this change this is called relative reference why this is relative reference once again we can summarize after writing the formula as we are dragging the mouse the cell values are changing due to this change we are getting the answers here and due to this change this is called relative reference means every time the cell values will change that is called relative reference I hope it is clear now if we are not changing the cells so how we will fix the cell values we will fix it with the dollar symbol if we are using the dollar symbol that is called absolute reference now we have used dollar symbol with the both rows and the column this is called the absolute reference because we have fixed the value as we are using the dollar symbol values of that cell will not change it will be fixed you can use the dollar symbol with every row and column or you can use the dollar symbol with only one row or with one column this is up to you this is called absolute reference now what is mixed reference As I have written this with the dollar symbol and every time the dollar symbol is used with every row and column this is called absolute reference Now in this you can see dollar is used here and here here also but this row is free this is called mixed reference means in this type of reference absolute is also pre present means values are fixed also relative is also present means value can change also if both the relative and absolutes are present then this is called mixed reference. How we can use copy and paste in this uh, MS Excel?
for copy we will use control plus C and for paste we will use control plus V this is called copy and paste in MSX we can use the sheet reference also means if we are using any sheet and we have written certain values in some other sheet then we can import that value in our current sheet also now how it is sheet reference you will write the sheet name first then you will write the well cell name at the last now if we are writing the formula is equal to b4 this is the present cell name means b4 we are working on b4 and we want to add a certain value from another sheet now i am going to write the uh, way by which we will call the another sheet value plus sheet 1 exclamation d4 now here you can see easily this is my present cell value then plus now from where I want to call the value I want to call the value from sheet 1 and which cell which cell so exclamation and the name of the cell d4 so this value will come from sheet 1 d4 and this will be added in my present sheet value b4 this is the way by which we will call the value from the another sheet how we will rename or naming the sheet now in this we will simply click the uh, left hand side downside by default sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 is written we will click on that then rename option will come now type your new name it will be changed now changing the color of sheet this is very easy as you can change the color of the sheet also or you can change the color of the cell only what you have to do select the cell select the range then go on the home tab you will get the color section you will get this kind of small small color section then click on this color section and that selected area will be colored now certain rules are there to add a function first rule you have to use always equal to symbol as already I have shown you b1 colon b15 so what is the rule first I have used equal to symbol this always you have to use functions are having some predefined words that you must know means you are not supposed to write anything like function you must know which is the predefined function in our computer system and that only you will use in your computer in your MS Excel now certain common functions to find the values like maximum like minimum average count mod sum all these are having the same format whatever you want to calculate you will write it here and this will be uh, the uh, word which computer will understand and it will give you the solution now you will get the today's date and time also in MS Excel like if you will write display date so you will write as you will type this and after this press enter key then your date your current date will be displayed to you similarly day month or year if you want so you will write 
day this will display the day uh, today is what is today what is the day like this month or year you can write month or year also you will write now this was the third lesson and i hope you understand this third lesson now few exercises are there first fill in the blanks formulas are used to perform calculations a formula always begins with i have already told you equal symbol the cell address in the formula is also called cell reference the cell address in the formula that does not change on copying the cell address that does not change already i have discussed just now absolute reference to use the sheet reference you need to enter sheet name exclamation and the cell address exclamation and the cell address now dash are the input to function which accept values as number or text this is called argument a function must be followed by opening and closing parenthesis okay a function must be opening and closing parenthesis as we have used here also now true and false formulas must begin with question say a sign this is false formulas must begin with equal symbol in absolute reference the relative position of rows and columns changes this is false the relative position will change in relative reference combined reference is the type of cell reference this is false mixed reference is the form in absolute reference dollar symbol is used this is true range can be used in the formula this is true sheet tab can't be renamed this is false some function is used to find some values this is true now multiple choice question to use the sheet reference how we will use it sheet the sheet name sheet 1 exclamation d4 this is the value now which key combination is used to get the total adjacent cell this is alt plus equal symbol alt plus equal now which function find the largest number of range this is the max now which function returns the remainder after a number of divided by the divisor this is mod function mod which of the given cell reference can be included in the relative reference this is a3 this is called a3 this is the correct one now in today's class i have covered your uh, first uh, uh, test portion everything it is revised listen to this video carefully if you have any confusion you can write a comment and you can contact me thank you